This is Bill Landry, owner of Georgia FC. So I have a team of top doctors from St. John's who take care of my players. I don't know who you are or why you're on my field. Why exactly did you poach a patient from St. John's and bring him here? That's not what happened. I don't care. I want Dax transferred to St. John's immediately. Well, that would be a bad idea. Dax has sustained significant injuries to his chest and his abdomen. I trust that when he stabilizes, he'll make that transfer happen as soon as possible. You have my word. And I apologize for the inconvenience. I, I hope. Mr. Landry? I heard what you did for Dax. I owe you a debt of thanks. Oh, glad I could help. I also heard that Dax brought you in because our team doctor didn't address his concerns. That's unacceptable. My players are like family to me, and this has shown me that my family needs a doctor. I'd like the doctor to be you. <laughs> is, is this a real offer? It is. I don't think I'll have a problem getting a position at St. John's. So, Dr. Hawkins, what do you say? Hey. Is there anything valuable in the car? About $300 worth of makeup, so this thief could look like anyone right now. <laughs> makeup. Sure. Uh, we're going to the Comic-Con in Bakersfield. They have a big costume contest. It's cooler than it sounds. <laughs> I don't know, sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I think I have all I need here. You guys need me to call someone? I'm guessing your mom's. <laughs> Thanks, but we've got it covered. Okay, I just talked to my mom. <laughs> Look at old Gus. Scott, good grief. We sure thought the world of ourselves back then, didn't we? So what's on your mind? Well, the girl that crashed the bedstead, she was out of her depth. There's a reason that being a test pilot used to be a requirement for this job. Experience actually matters. You have to face the facts, Deke. Men go off and fight the wars and fly the planes. Women can't do what we do. I don't know if you heard, but a woman did land on the moon. Look, after what you went through on Mercury, I don't blame you for having compassion for these ladies. I really don't. This has nothing to do with that. Deke, I've known you for a long time. I was there when that moron flight surgeon grounded you for what they call it. Atrial fibrillation. You got a raw deal. We're talking about the credibility of NASA here. Everyone knows this wasn't your idea. It was forced on you. I decide who goes up and who doesn't. I know. And your word carries a lot of weight. If you come out and say that we gave it a good shot and these girls just weren't up to standards, no one's going to question that. No one. Man, that was some impressive police work back there. The way you apprehended that perp, you could have gotten real ugly. Well, the boy was sorry. He did give the silly putty back to the cashier. You showed a lot of restraint. 11-year-old punk calls me a butthole, you gonna see it on the 6 o'clock news. Just doing my job. You're too modest. You are, without a doubt, the finest police officer I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Well, I'm sure your partner's no slouch. He ain't nothing but a slouch. Well, you gotta cut him a little slack. He does his honeymoon. Which he wouldn't be on if it wasn't for me. I was the Cupid that made that relationship happen. Guy on that Saturn is dropping a little erratically. I'm gonna run his plates. He won't run his plates. <laughs> you are the real deal, officer. Damn fine cop. <laughs> You'd call me from your honeymoon, wouldn't you? You sure you don't want to grab a beer and hang out a little bit? I'm ready to call it a day. It's been a real pleasure riding with you, Carl. The pleasure was all mine, sir. You are truly one of the finest police officers I've ever known. Appreciate you saying that. Your partner's a lucky man. Yeah, tell him that. Oh, by the way, I got you a little something. You bought me a gift? Nothing extravagant. I just noticed when we were walking the beat that you're overpronate on your right foot. So you got me an insert. Where's Sam? Where's your bodyguard? Watching Larry Dabke give a statement that you two are thieves. Sam! 
doesn't hurt anyone. The families get reimbursed by the insurance companies who'd have to pay anyway if the stuff gets burned. That's a good defense. You should totally use that in court. Hey, what's up? Never's gonna put us in jail. What? No, he's not gonna do that. He just wants his cut. You guys are over Amelia Meehan now, huh? We're family. We don't chew on things from 30 years ago that don't matter anymore. I can get you out of this, you know. Okay, all right, all right, all right. How much you want? We'll give you a third. I want Bella back. How are we supposed to know where Bella is? Wait, 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 wait! It's, it's, it's in the garden shed at the family place in Cooch County. There. So long. Wait! What about your... your misstep to keep us out of jail? <laughs> I don't want to keep you out of jail. 